Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start your day, whatever time it may be. And for today's video, what we're going to be going over is recoil control and how I essentially have little to no recoil when I play Call of Duty War 2 without using grip on any of my weapons. You guys know I've made a video in the past. I don't really run grip on a lot of the weapons that I use in this game, like the PPSA, the MP40, the STG, the bar, and so and so. These weapons, I feel if you guys can master the recoil, you guys can just alleviate that attachment and free it up and use something else. So for today's video, I'm going to be using a controller cam and pretty much showing you guys exactly the motions that I'm using on my Xbox D controller. You guys know that I love the Xbox D controller. It is the best controller uh, if you are on the Xbox. Now, what I'm going to be explaining is pretty much doing a recoil, you know, showcase and kind of like a uh, demonstration of the method that I use. Some of you guys do use this method. Some of you guys might not. So pretty much before I go into the hand cam portion of the video, I'm going to show you guys exactly, you know, what I'm doing with my controller in order for me to have little to no recoil without running the grip attachment. Now, what you want to do while you're shooting is you guys actually want to be pulling down on this thumbstick. I know a lot of you guys have seen this video before my channel, but for the newer subscribers, you guys actually uh, request that I make a video with hand cam. So I'm doing exactly that. You want to be shooting and pulling down at the same time. That's going to counteract the recoil and essentially make it so your gun has little to no recoil. If you guys do this method with running the grip, the PPSH, the STG, the bar, the MP40, the Sterling, a lot of the weapons that I run without the grip essentially turn into lasers and if you have the grip, it's even more accurate. So this is kind of like what I'm using and what I, you know, use to my benefit, um, you know, to play, you know, how I play Call of Duty. Let's get right into the hand cam portion of the video if you guys are new make sure to drop a like on the video shoot for 250 likes on this one you guys have been smashing the like goes on all the videos and let's get right into it all right so we're gonna start the recoil comparison with grip and without grip you guys can see here the class I'm using right now is the PPSH with the grip with rapid fire as well as extended max I'm gonna shoot the wall without using any recoil control method I'm just gonna let the PPSH you know have its natural recoil then I'm gonna shoot it again with the PPSH using the recoil control method with the grip and then we're gonna do the same method and same practice with the PPSH without the grip just to show you guys that this is a legitimate method on how you guys can essentially have little to no recoil you know without using grip so here we go we're gonna shoot the PPSH like I said you guys can see here I'm just letting the, the PPSH go I'm letting it fly uh, the natural recoil I have rapid fire on this for a reason so the recoil is a little bit more because the weapon is shooting a little bit faster so this is a proven point that you know this is a legitimate way on how you guys can you know manage recoil so now what i'm gonna do after this is i'm gonna show you guys the recoil of the ppsh using the recoil control method by pulling down on the thumbstick while you're shooting this is the ppsh you know with the recoil control method with the grip we're just going to shoot the wall you guys can see here the recoil is very very minimum it pretty much has little to no recoil this like i said is with the recoil control method then we're going to go ahead after i finish this clip and we're going to go over to the ppsh with out the grip so now we're going to ppsh without the grip so you guys can see it right now exactly what it looks like and have a good comparison we're going to get right back over to the wall uh before it actually disappears you guys can see here this is with grip without recoil control this is with grip with recoil control this is going to be without grip without recoil control so the recoil is going to be extremely high as you guys can see here it just kicks straight up it's kind of side to side it's really wobbly it's not really controllable at all a lot of you guys are always commenting on videos how do you have you know recoil control with the ppsh you know without running grip and rapid fire so that's like i said without any recoil control at all this is going to be with the PPSH without grip, using recoil control, you guys can see that my thumb is on the uh, joystick. So here we go. You guys can see here, this is the PPSH without grip using recoil control. Very tight, very easy to manage. This is something you can just drill yourself and you're pretty much able to have little to no recoil without the grip. You guys can see compared here, this is the PPSH without the grip with recoil control. This is the PPSH with grip with recoil control so it's pretty similar like i said you do not need to run grip on the ppsh i'm using the ppsh as an example because i feel like this is like one of the most used weapons and the weapons that a lot of people kind of you know have control have trouble you know managing the recoil like i said because um, a 
a lot of people like to use it. Some people say you don't need grip. Some people say you do need grip. I'm in fact saying you don't need grip. And this is going to be proof as to why, like I said, you do not need grip. As you guys can see here, it is very, very easy to manage. I can even run across the back of the map right here, shoot it. And as you guys can see here, it is still easy to manage even at range. So hope you guys, you know, do enjoy today's video. I hope you like this, you know, video helps you guys out a lot of you guys requested i do a hand cam video for these type of recoil controls so hope you guys like i said learn something check it out comment down below um if this method does help you out a lot i'm gonna do another range test right here and then i'm gonna go ahead and just show some you know gameplay with the ppsh this is like i said no recoil control and i'll do one more uh with the recoil control at range you guys can see that it is in fact a pretty solid method on how you guys can control recoil and say at range like i said easy to control you can just gun people across the map you know very very easily just pull down your controller it is something that you know you guys can do if you guys just you know keep at it and master so yeah it's been your boy years uh have a great rest of your day deuces that's how the fuck I'm getting cut down by Lewis when I have the first shot. I really don't think it'll be that. I don't think it's that bad right now, dude. Honestly, I really don't. There's domination. Domination right now actually is bad. Like, I'm actually gonna chance it. I'm probably dead. Firebombing run ready. Call for incendiary. Closing with Baker. Recon flight concluded. B captured. Low altitude bomber inbound. Dropping incendiary. Paratroopers en route. Mark the zone. Paratroopers descending. I just killed myself. Wait, no, I didn't. They're capturing Baker. Charlie is overrun. Recon aloft. We have eyes in the sky. Lobbies are trash today. Yeah, they kind of are, bruh. Curing Abel. Dug in and Abel. Recon aloft. We have eyes in the sky. I'm gonna push that on my parachute versus just get in there. Enemy contact at Abel. Why is there a kid with a fucking tac knife on Akin, bro? One off a ball turret gunner. I died to a kid with a fucking tac knife. This is exact. Oh my god, dude. Like, what am I exactly. Why are kids playing like a tac knife on Akin? Dude, are kids really that. Goodness, man. Kids are actually playing like that right now. Like a fucking tack knife went off my ball turn gunner. Recon aircraft awaiting orders. Recon airborne. Can't make this shit up right now. And 
I'm actually going off right now too. That's the annoying Sending part. Everybody, how's everybody doing? Good. Go on a brutal at the end of the game, boss. This shit is still good. So. When I gonna play on PS4? When I hit level 1,000. When I yeah, I'm 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 literally like 110 levels away though. Beaver. Okay, I'm People annoyed. ask all the time, when are you playing PS4? Level 1000. Why are they all rushing fucking A, dude? Oh my god, what the fuck? We have eyes in the sky. <sighs> Why are they fucking. My man is speaking real quick, hold up. My man gotta put a pillow underneath him. Cool off. Yeah, forget it. I'm not even going to be. There's too many guys over there. I'll look around the back. Baker's lost. Recon searching for targets. C capture. Taking Baker. Well, I'll be three capping, dude. God damn it. I'm not taking B then. We always seem to do this, bro. Like, like we do it without even like noticing it. Like, we gotta stop three capping. Like, shit is legitimately stupid. Oh my gosh. They're taking Able! Artillery ready for orders. Waiting coordinates. Enemy contact at Able. We hold Baker. Oh. Firing primary battery. Target position confirmed. They're taking Able! Moving back to C. Or to B. They're taking Baker! Yo, chill, dude. We control all objectives. Hold the line! Get up on B, bro. Firebombing run awaiting target. Bro, stop capping C. Lost C. Dang. Baker is ours. Yo. Limit. Air troopers? Limit. 
You thought the pill thing didn't work, it's amazing? Oh, Shield, there you go, huh? bro. I wasn't lying. I told you it's godly. Holy shit, goodbye. They're taking Abel. Abel is over one. Paratroopers, get in there. Do something. Recon searching for target. Did you What's up, Gun? What's up, Gun? <clears throat> What's the weapon order? It's the Epic Bren. We control all objectives. Hold the line. They're capturing Charlie. Charlie is overrun. <laughs> 